Hey guys, welcome back. Working on the Biscayne. I got it up and running. The throttle body was making a terrible whistling noise. Um, anytime it was on fast idle, it was really bad. Once it warmed up, the noise kind of went away. Um, let me show you what I did to get rid of 90% of that noise. Now, you still hear the air rushing through, but the, uh, the whistling is gone. Now, I'll show you two different versions of this. Um, hopefully, I have a good audio clip. It's not the best, but it's okay, of the original sound. And then, let me play it for you right now. Okay, now that you heard that, let me start up the engine. We can hear how it sounds right now. And then I'm gonna make one more change, and we'll try it again. Now I have the throttle plates closed down all the way right now, just so more air is going through the idle air control motor to amplify the sound, because it's not making it nearly as much now as it was the other day. Okay, so that is with the modifications I did to the throttle body and with the original idle air control motor. Now I've had this throttle body off of here probably half a dozen times, um, trying different things, modifying different ways, and trying between a couple different idle air control motors. Um, this is the factory one that came with the truck engine. It has a uh, larger plastic pentel. Now I'm going to put a different one on here that has a smaller metal one. Now the orientation is slightly different. This one I have to have the connector coming out kind of towards the back. But it does fit in there properly. And after looking on the internet, uh, I guess this is a huge problem with the Chinese throttle bodies. Um, I don't know if all of them are the 4 bolt flange or if some of them are the 3 bolt. Let me start it up with this one, and this one should make a better uh, tone, um, quieter noise. It has a different shape to that panel. It's a little bit smaller, so the air is not rushing around it as much. So let me crack the throttle open just a little bit to where it'll probably be set. And the noise is way quieter. Um, at least it's bearable. And I'm running without an air cleaner right now. Once I get the intake on with an air cleaner, it'll probably be a little bit quieter. Let me take this throttle body off and I'll show you what I had to do to this to get it quiet. And I know it may seem loud on the camera and it's still a little bit loud in person. I mean, I can hear it over the rumble of the exhaust just a little bit, um, but I have fairly quiet exhaust. The, uh, the noise before was kind of unbearable. You kind of wanted to plug your ears just being around it. It was that loud. Now this intake has a large diameter throttle body compared to this one. Um, I can't remember what this is. This might be like a 70 or 76, but there's a really big opening right here on the side. That is where the idle air control motor sucks its air from. This one here, you can see down in the bottom there how wide that opening is. When I started, there was about a 3 8 diameter hole there. Um, real similar to this hole here on the side, that's for the crankcase breather. But there was a hole about two of these wide over here and it was causing a very dramatic whistling sound. Now I still need to polish this up a little bit, um, do a little more deburring, but just since I was in the testing phase, I didn't want to waste a lot of time. Now I also did a little bit in here, making sure not to damage the ceiling surface of the pentel or where the O-ring goes in here, 
but I bored out around the pentel a little bit, made that chamber a little bit bigger, sort of like the original one. And then on the back of the throttle body here, now even looking at pictures of the internet, I thought mine might have been misdrilled. They are all very close to the to the <clears throat> they are all very close to the throttle blades or the throttle plate, so that is normal. But there was just a uh, like a five sixteenths hole back here, so I went ahead and opened that up kind of in all directions as far as I could. Um, I could go a little bit further up the bore here to widen it, but since it's a lot quieter, I think I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to polish it up a little bit. Now, at first I was just going to drill a hole in the throttle plate to uh, see if that would fix it, but that's not something you can really undo. Um, I could have put like a brass rivet in it or something to patch it, but I didn't really want to have something I couldn't fix. But then again, you know, my polishing or my porting in here, I can't fix either if that didn't work. I just, uh, I had to do something because it was outrageously loud. Now, on this one here, this whole big section is where the air dumps out of the idle air control motor. So look how big that area is. Now, it still has to go through the same size port around the pentel, but I think since they have such a big area around that pentel that the air doesn't whistle around it. So a very large port out, huge port coming in. So I tried to mimic that in this one. I can't go quite as big on the outlet as I did on the inlet, but I smoothed out that inlet. And now I just gotta polish it up and we'll call that good. So this isn't just a problem in the LS swap community. Um, anyone that has a car with a factory LS that puts an aftermarket intake on or a bigger throttle body can run into this issue as well. It's more common in the aftermarket world when people are swapping these in because they don't have clearance for the big plastic intake or they just want it to look better in general. So I think that made a big improvement on how loud that whistling is before it was unbearable. Now it did quiet up once the car was warm, but I got a feeling the customer when he started up the vehicle would have woken up the neighbors if he started up early in the morning. It would have been just completely obnoxious. So I wanted to take care of that. I probably could have gone with a smaller throttle body, but I don't know if they make a smaller one that bolts onto this intake manifold with that four bolt flange. If I could have got a smaller throttle body, I think that it would have had maybe a little better low end torque. I'm not sure. Without seeing dyno numbers, it's hard to judge. I don't think that these engines need a 92 millimeter throttle body, at least with the, uh, the 5.3 in stock form. Now, if you have a big cam, ported heads, all that stuff, then yeah, you might benefit from it a little bit. So if you found the video helpful, you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see more of the build on the Biscayne, we're almost done with it, then subscribe, click on that bell. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Questions, comments, go down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.